Is it a shock to Airbus and Boeing that China's COMAC is preparing to launch the C-939, a giant wide-body jet built to compete with the legendary A350 and 777X? But this is more than just a plane. It's a statement, a challenge to decades of Western dominance of the skies. With the C-939, China isn't just joining the race, it's rewriting the rules. How will this radical new approach from China rewrite the rules of aviation? Why would they dare? Let's find out. COMAC was founded in 2008 with full support from the Chinese government, not just as a company, but as part of a national strategy to gain independence from Western aerospace giants, Boeing and Airbus. At the time, the goal seemed almost impossible. China was one of the world's largest aviation markets, but its skies were dominated by foreign aircraft. The manufacturer's mission was to transform China from a consumer of aviation technology into a producer and innovator. The company's first major project, the ARJ-21, a regional jet that carries around 90 passengers, represented China's first serious attempt to design and build a commercial aircraft from scratch. The strategy was deliberate start small gain experience, then move on to larger, more complex aircraft. The journey, however, was not a smooth one. Technical challenges, development delays, and limited manufacturing experience dragged on with the first flight in 2008, but commercial service not until 2016. Certification also posed another hurdle. While the Chinese government approved the early aircraft, the US did not. Neither did the FAA limiting operations mainly to the domestic market. Nevertheless, the aircraft gradually accumulated more than 100 orders and millions of flight hours, providing significant experience in design production and operation. Based on these lessons, the manufacturer launched its next project, the C919, a narrow-body jet intended to compete directly with the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320. With a capacity of up to 168 passengers and a range of about 5,500 kilometers, the C919 is aimed at China's vast domestic market before expanding internationally. The plane's first flight in 2017 marked a milestone, but licensing and production delays mean it won't enter service until 2023 with China Eastern Airlines. A key challenge is its reliance on foreign suppliers, particularly for engines and avionics. The C919 uses Leap 1C engines from CFM International, a joint venture between GE and Safran. This reliance highlights vulnerabilities in China's supply chain, especially in a context of geopolitical tensions and technological constraints. Despite these setbacks, COMAC has received more than 1,200 orders, although only a handful of the aircraft have been delivered so far with only five expected to enter service by early 2025. Or these already launched aircraft are more than just aircraft. They are strategic milestones in China's Made in China 2025 initiative, which aims to build self-sufficiency in high-tech industries, including aerospace. COMAC's mission goes beyond assembling jets to developing a complete domestic ecosystem for aircraft design manufacturing certification and maintenance. It is aggressively cultivating expertise in materials, avionics engines, and regulatory standards to reduce its reliance on foreign suppliers and position China as a global aviation power. Don't forget to click, like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to discover more interesting information from us. Thank you. Although still in concept form, the bold aircraft could represent a major milestone in China's aerospace ambitions aiming to challenge the dominance of Boeing and Airbus in the long-haul wide-body market. In terms of its components, the jet is a twin-engine, twin-aisle aircraft capable of seating up to 400 passengers in a conventional three-class configuration or around 440 in a higher-density two-class layout. Its projected range is around 13,000 kilometers, about 7,000 nautical miles, allowing for non-stop flights between major intercontinental routes such as Beijing, London, Shanghai, New York, or Beijing, Los Angeles. In addition, 
it will be able to compete with the 777X and A350-1000 with an estimated wingspan of around 65 to 68 meters, with an overall length of 70 to 72 meters and a height of around 20 meters. Furthermore, the MTOW is expected to be around 320 to 350 tons, while the fuel capacity is designed to effectively support long-haul operations. In addition, the aircraft is expected to reach a cruising speed of Mach 0.85, a service ceiling of around 1,300 meters, 43,000 feet, using advanced aerodynamics and lightweight composite materials to optimize fuel efficiency and range. The fuselage will be made from advanced aluminum lithium alloys for strength and weight reduction, while the wings and control surfaces will incorporate composite materials similar to those on the legendary aircraft, allowing for improved lift-to-drag ratios and reduced structural weight. The cabin is expected to include modern avionics, fly-by-wire controls, LED lighting, and noise reduction technology for passenger comfort as well as a high-performance environmental control system. The C939's engines are expected to be high-bypass turbofans with 80,000 to 95,000 pounds of thrust, comparable to the Rolls-Royce Trent 1000 or General Electric GE 9X. However, China currently relies on Western suppliers for these high-performance engines. Most importantly, development of domestic alternatives is underway but certification and reliability for intercontinental operations remain key challenges. The landing gear is designed for heavy-duty long-haul operations with dual main wheel assemblies and an advanced braking system to handle maximum takeoff weight safely. In addition to the technical specifications, COMAC is preparing the industrial ecosystem to support the C939 program, an assembly line capable of initial production of 10 to 15 aircraft per year, a global MRO network, and partnerships with suppliers for avionics interiors and systems integration. The program also emphasizes compliance with international certification standards from the FAA and EASA, a key step toward global market acceptance. By integrating lessons learned from the ARJ-21 regional jet and the C919 narrow-body airliner, the jet combines increased expertise in airframe design systems, integration and manufacturing scalability with China's strategic vision to break the Western monopoly in long-haul commercial aviation. The Chinese aviation market is a powerful engine that is likely to sustain COMAC for decades providing the company with a huge and stable domestic demand that many Western manufacturers cannot match. With thousands of domestic routes and one of the fastest growing aviation industries in the world, COMAC has access to a reliable customer base, allowing it to focus on long-term growth rather than immediate global market dominance. As global supply chains increasingly shift to Asia, they are in a position to offer airlines an attractive alternative to Boeing and Airbus, combining competitive pricing with the benefits of state subsidies and political support. This unique combination of domestic market power, government protection, and virtually unlimited capital gives them a strategic advantage that is unmatched in the West. Boeing and Airbus are under pressure to quickly capture global market share and maintain profitability while COMAC can afford to play the long game gradually expanding its technological capabilities and international presence. By leveraging China's vast domestic aviation base, the company can steadily increase production, refine aircraft designs and improve its licensing process while maintaining financial stability. Over time, this approach allows them to gradually break Western dominance in the aviation industry building credibility and trust in its aircraft without immediate global competitive pressure. Moreover, COMAC's advantage is not just economic. China's industrial-scale integrated supply chain and synchronized aerospace ecosystem give the company resources and resilience that Boeing and Airbus lack. The Chinese government's political will and long-term planning allow it to be patient in the development, production, and licensing of aircraft, all of which are important in an industry defined by high technical complexity. 
and strict regulatory standards. Moreover, by combining domestic market dominance, industrial scale, and strategic geopolitical position, it has not only sold aircraft, it has laid the foundations for an internationally reputable aerospace industry. The manufacturer's strength lies in its persistence and strategic vision gradually expanding its reach, improving its technology, and leveraging state support to reshape the global aviation market. Will China really be able to challenge the Boeing and Airbus duopoly in the next decade, or will it remain confined to its domestic sphere? Share your thoughts below. The C939's path to becoming a credible global competitor faces significant obstacles primarily around engine development, certification hurdles, manufacturing capacity, and market confidence. The engine challenge remains the most significant bottleneck. China has yet to produce a domestic engine that can match the performance and reliability of Western giants such as the GE9X or Rolls-Royce Trent XWB. The domestic CJ2000 engine designed specifically for the C939 is still in development and has not yet proven its ability to meet the demanding performance durability and safety standards required for a commercial wide-body jet. Without a fully developed domestic engine or a politically and economically viable way to source Western engines, the aircraft's operational readiness and international competitiveness will be limited. Certification is another major hurdle. Obtaining approval from international authorities such as the FAA in the United States or EASA is essential for exporting aircraft and gaining widespread acceptance among airlines. Even this process is rigorous and time-consuming, especially for a startup with limited operating experience and manufacturers still face regulatory skepticism regarding safety quality and compliance with aviation standards. In addition, production speed is a limitation. Their current production capacity is modest with a limited number of aircraft produced annually. Scaling up to meet the demands of the global market will pose challenges to their supply chain industrial infrastructure and skilled workforce. Finally, trust and reputation pose a more invisible but equally important barrier. Airlines prioritize reliability, operational performance, and an established service ecosystem. As a new company without decades of proven reliability, the C939 must overcome skepticism and build trust with global operators, passengers, and leasing companies. Established competitors like Boeing and Airbus benefit from the solid reputation the Chinese manufacturer has had to build over time. Generally, China's bold pursuit of the C939 is part of a broader national vision under the Made in China 2025 initiative, which sees aviation as both an economic driver and a pillar of strategic independence. Moreover, Backed by massive government investment and a push to localize all key technologies from avionics to engines, the program builds on existing lessons learned and years of experience in the aviation market, marking a leap from follower to potential leader in the global aviation industry. At the heart of this ambition is the CJ2000, China's first high-thrust turbofan, which symbolizes progress towards true self-reliance in aerospace. Every aspect of the aircraft reflects the drive to meet or surpass Western technical standards. With a large domestic market state subsidies and a growing industrial ecosystem, COMAC aims to challenge the Boeing Airbus duopoly and position China as a major force in the global wide-body arena with an eye toward transcontinental ambitions. The journey ends here. Goodbye and see you in the next video.